hi everyone welcome back to my channel my name is oluchi lloyd thank you guys for tuning in if you're new hello and welcome my name is oluchi lloyd so guys in today's video i want to talk about updates about what is happening in china uh update update about what is going on in china please there's some things going on most of our african people are very 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 stranded our african people living in china they are very 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 uh i think these people really need help at this particular period of time they need help they need help you see in africa it's only south africa that took a very wise step by bringing their people back home before the lockdown so other countries like uh, nigeria and other others in uh, zambia uganda because i've been watching a lot of videos about people really talking about them they are making videos you know asking their leaders to uh, help them to leave china so what i'm saying here is that uh, particularly okay let me go to talk about the Biafran one the Biafran one there's a lot of Biafrans in china those that went there for business to go and import goods uh they were stuck they are stuck and stranded because during that particular period of time they asked them to quarantine and they have been quarantined for twice they have quarantined twice okay these people have quarantined twice and these people are so stranded now and the government said before they can bring them back home said they need like five hundred thousand naira for them to bring them back home and when they come back home again they're still gonna quarantine for another two weeks which is very very frustrating you know these things are very very bad at this particular period of time so guys i said let me use this opportunity to reach you guys out to tell you what is going on in china and what is happening why no dear france is helping them because in biafra land i think they have people like uh, innocent motors and the uh, airpiece the one that help people in south africa so what happened this time around that uh, i heard that the airpiece is the one who bring the china people those ones that are coming to test their vaccine on nigerians epis is the one who brought them to nigeria but abandoned his own people in the china so i don't know his reason of doing that my people i would also like you guys to help me to you know reason together let's reason together i don't know his reasons of doing that we knew that uh, after he helped people from south africa there's a lot of people who want to spoil his uh, good i don't know a lot of nigerians start to uh, you know blackmail him try to spoil his airline complaining and there's a video of a woman made that uh, there's something that goes with the airline like all the airline i used to know they're always problem but when there is problem they like to fix you with another airline for you to go with but this particular ones come on social media try to castigate the man's uh, airline i don't know whether that is the reason of uh, stop to help people i don't know there's a lot of things that is involved also when you have that uh, problem of usa money laundering issues uh i see what a lot of nigerians did to him i don't know how it happens because when that man has not when he has not helped people from south africa he never gets all this problem immediately he helped people that is where this Prob his problem started but meanwhile that is not the reason for him to abandon his own people because he have already did it before uh is it because it's their friends who went to china to trade that is why or i don't know how what is going really going going i don't i don't know what is going on i don't know why he feel less concerned about the cry of these people that are stranded in china so i moved to this our brother called innocent motto innocent motto as well is very very rich and when he have problem with this gt bank or whatever bank they may call their name in nigeria i know how their friends the it was true for him they really really fight for this man so i don't know what is his reason why he decided to do that why 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 ignore these people what really happened why innocent moto did this kind of thing to 
um, to his people that are stranded in China. So I'm so surprised to hear all these ladies and gentlemen, lovers of freedom, dear friends all over the world. Uh, this is so shocking, 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 shocking. I can't believe that innocent Milti can do this kind of thing to his people. I'm so speechless and so speechless and so speechless. But anyway, guys, so that is one of those things. And uh, we use this opportunity as well to tell the dear friends all over the world to be strong, no matter the condition, the situation. If they ask you for people to come back, I heard that some people said they don't want to come back, and some people said they want to come back. Okay, if those who said they don't want to come back, you can stay there and uh, you stop complaining because when you say you don't want to come back, you are still coming on social media to complain, which means you are not serious. People will not give listening ear to you. So those who don't want to come back, please, you guys should just uh, you know, stay calm. And those who want to come back, I know by the special grace of God, then we come back. But meanwhile, guys, the way they treat these people uh, in China is so, so bad. There's nobody, nobody wants to really talk about it. The world don't really want to speak about it. People are so quiet. People don't want to talk. They don't want to say anything. That is so, so bad. Very, very bad. So my brothers and sisters, please, it is obvious that things are really, really going bad, uh, Africans in China. Uh, I think because the issue is that because it's only Bia France who is really speaking out, you know. Apart from that, a lot of other people that are there, all the African countries, the black people that are there, they have been stranded. We have been very, very stranded. So they are stranded, they are not talking because I don't know why they choose not to talk. They are dying in silence. But anyway, guys, yes, this is what is going on. Uh, if you come across this particular video, please, uh, ladies and gentlemen, share it. Uh, let's try to do something to help our African brothers and sisters, those living in China that are stranded. I can see the way they are treating them, you know, telling them to enter quarantine from one quarantine to another. And uh, since this thing has been happening in Africa, I don't know. If there's anybody, I don't know how they think that uh, anyway, that is just the rule to quarantine. Yes, we understand that the quarantine is the rule particular at particular this period of time. Uh, people need to quarantine, which is very, very necessary. It's very, very important for people to quarantine. But meanwhile, at the same time, please, 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 please let us do the needful. Let us continue to do the needful any man any woman it is very very important people should do the needful uh this china of a thing guys is in danger right now as i'm talking to you guys i wouldn't allow anybody to uh like you shouldn't you know put yourself in that such danger no matter how business or uh, what your life is so important i think for that uh, for china issues going to buy goods there for now people should just wait for a little bit your life is important more than riches people should hold on for this particular time people should hold on wait wait at this time wait 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 at this particular time let things cool up before you be struggling to go to china but meanwhile i heard that is those who is already there before this pandemic starts they are the ones that got stuck i don't know if there's new people or the chinese people has opened their border so that one is also surprising me where they come from. If their border is closed, I uh, had them going to Nigeria. They said they, they're going to save Nigerians with their vaccine or they want to go and save Nigerians with their new vaccine or to check if the vaccine is working or not on Nigerians. So I don't really know if their border is closed or not. But the same way they try to smuggle the Chinese in Nigeria, they should also do it the same way as well to take those Nigerians that are stranded back home and also other African countries back home. So this is my own message. Uh, I, uh, this is my message to everyone that is listening to me. If your brother or your sister is involved in this particular issue of uh, Africans being stranded in China, I think uh, African government or, or Nigeria, any country that involved in this, should uh, I know they should do something to help 
Africans living in China or Africans that are passing through this problem, those that are stranded, uh, to help them come back home or to place them in a very good position, in a very good place. Because I heard that if you refuse to quarantine, then we refuse to give you their houses, even their hotels. You are not allowed to lodge in the hotel or to give you apartments to live. That is the story I heard. So my people, let me not finish or let me know what you think below. What is your opinion on this? Uh, what do you have to say? Don't forget to leave your comment below. Bye.